Hi guys, uh, this is Derek from the Filter Shop. Uh, today I'm just going to take you through a quick uh, a few installation tips uh, with regards to either our activated carbon vessels or our deep bed sand vessel units. Um, this will also work for our Clino X uh, vessel units. Okay, um, I'm just going to take you through a few quick pointers of things to do and things to keep in mind and those kind of things. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, the smallest of the vessel options on these units, which is the 25 litre for the sake of this video, just because it's easier to work with and easier to show different parts and components of it. Okay, once you've selected the spot where you will be installing the uh, activated carbon vessel or deep bed sand vessel, um, you'll want to put your vessel in that spot or, or there, thereabouts. Um, because once you put the media inside, it's going to become quite heavy and it's become difficult to move and you could possibly break it. So if you can put it as close to where your final destination is, or your final spot for installation is, that is going to be best. Okay. Um, the first thing you'll want to do, uh, first component you'll want to put inside here, but normally it is inside here once you receive it from us, is to take your riser pipe and your bottom strainer. Now this will already be glued by filter shop, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Um, it'll be fed through the center. Now at the bottom of the vessel there is a little, a little down spot that you want to make sure that the unit sits on. You want to make sure that the top of the riser pipe is as flush to the top of the um, vessel as possible. You don't want it to be below the thread where the valve head will be connecting because then it won't make proper contact with the seal inside the valve head and you're going to get a mixture of filtered non-filtered water. Okay guys, uh, when you start to fill the unit uh, with the media, there will be activated carbon or silica sand, you're going to want to make sure that your riser pipe's in here. What I recommend first is to take a little bit of cellar tape, a little bit of uh, duct tape, just cover the top of the riser pipe so that you don't get any of the resin uh, media getting inside of the actual uh, riser pipe. Um, make sure that the riser pipe is centered with the, the vessel. And then you can use a funnel or something along those lines. It's easier. It's normally easier if you have someone to help you um, to pour the, the actual media inside. And you'll want to pour the sand or the carbon about 75% 75, 75 uh, of the vessel. You don't want to fill the unit completely um, because what you want is you want a little bit of space from the, the actual media and the top of the vessel so that when it runs the, the backwash, it has space to move and all those granules can get up and it, water can get between all the granules and all the parts. Uh, with your uh, activated carbon vessel or your silica sand vessel you would have got one of uh, several types of valve heads. Um, you're either going to get a manual uh, operating backwash valve head or you're going to get one of our digital backwash valve heads. Now um, the actual port sizes on these three units um, differ a little bit. Um, with regards to the manual valve it is a one I'm just going to show you here. It's a one inch female thread, both the inlet, outlet and drain. Okay, um, They are all clearly marked which is your waist, which is your in and out. I'm not sure if you can pick it up on the video there, but they all have markings in waist and your out. Okay, So just make sure that you connect the correct one. Um, remember when you're installing the activated carbon or the gloss, um, the silica sand, you want uh, uh, the water to go either to a drain point or into the garden depending on, on your situation. Um, with your digital valve heads, uh, there's two types we use depending on what's, what is available in the country at the time. Um, obviously these components are imported in, so sometimes certain valve heads may not be available. The programming on these valve heads is very, very similar. We'll do uh, different videos on the programming for the specific valve head model. Um, but uh, the actual connection sizes do differ a little bit. This is the standard valve head that we try to use for our uh, activated carbon, our glass media, our silica sand, our Clero X. Um, this is normally the standard one we want to use, but if this isn't available, we will use this unit as well. Now, um, with this particular unit, you can see it's also a one inch female thread, both the inlet, outlet, and the um, waste water. Uh, with this valve head, Okay guys, so now you've filled your vessel with the particular media, be it activated carbon or silica sand, um, now you need to install your valve head onto the vessel. Okay. Uh, before attaching the valve head to the vessel, uh, there's two very important things you need to do. Um, one, you'll see that on, on all the valve heads there's a little rim here. Now this is where the seal is going to go. Sometimes the seal will already be on, but if not, it should be inside the box with the unit, similar to the seal here. You'll want to just make sure that that is correctly in place. 
Um, and it's a good idea to put a little bit of Vaseline around it just to help with the seal and also to make it a bit easier when you come to changing the media later on. Okay. Um, the other part is this, which is referred to as the top strainer. Now this is a very, very important part. If this, if you install your vest, vest valve head onto the vessel with the riser pipe without this component, the first backwash you do, all or most of the uh, media inside is going to be backwashed out. Okay, so you need to make sure that this is correctly put on. You'll see that it has a few connections here onto these uh, uh, ledges here, and they match up with the ledges in, I'm not sure if you can clearly see that, but the ledges in there. So you just need to make sure that when you're putting it on in place, you put it over the top of those ledges, and then turn to lock it into place. And you should feel that it feels quite strong onto there. Okay guys, now with your media inside of the vessel um, and your uh, riser pipe centered, obviously I haven't put media inside here uh, because we're not using this unit, but that you get the idea that when the media is in here, it will be naturally centered. Um, if you still have a seller tape on, you should remove it now. And you want to take your valve head with the top strainer already installed and slide that over the riser pipe and then down onto the vessel where you're then going to screw the unit into place. Now keep in mind you might need to use a little bit of little bit of force to press it over the seal inside the valve head. Um, you might want to use a little bit of Vaseline also if it doesn't slide straight away. And then you screw it onto the vessel until it's nice and tight in place. Okay. Now once that's done you so once the valve head's on you're then going to want to connect your uh, your source water, your drain water and your outlet. Um, it is all clearly marked on the valve head in the case of this particular model of valve head, it's the inlet is right here, your outlet is right here, and this is your drain pipe. Okay, and this will drain either to just a drain sewage point or to the garden, depending on, on what you want to do with it. Yes, and that's basically it. That's basically your activated carbon or your uh, silica sand or Klinox vessel uh, uh, built. Now it comes to the actual, um, the actual connections. As I showed you, the connections are your inlet, your outlet, and your drain. Uh, what we do recommend, apart from, from what we've already stated or discussed, is it's always a good idea to put a bypass around the system in case uh, the unit's down for maintenance. Then that way you can still get water to your endpoint or to your household. Um, if you guys have any other questions or anything like that, please let us know. Um, as for that, that's, this is Darren from the Filter Shop uh, saying goodbye.